Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. STEAM is an educational movement that combines science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. On the iSteam channel, we will introduce STEAM fields as access points for experiential learning, inquiry, and critical thinking. Today's episode, The Scientific Method. To learn the scientific method by investigating the effects of drugs like alcohol and caffeine on the rate of heartbeat of dadnia or water flea. The scientific method is neither complicated nor intimidating, nor is unique to science. It's a powerful tool of logic that can be employed at any time a problem or a question about the fundamental nature of something arise. We all use elements of the scientific method to solve little problems every day, but we do it so quickly and automatically that we are not conscious of the methodology. In brief, the scientific method consists of observing, predicting, testing, and interpreting. Observation. Observation is the most basic tenet of the scientific method. All biological knowledge is based on the situations in which an individual make an observation of a particular event and recorded that observation. Scientists can rely on just their own sense organs, or they can use technological aids that extend their perceptual limits. These aids may be gel electrophoresis to see protein molecules, oscilloscope to see electrical nerve impulses, or microscope to see very small cells. You will base today's experiment on observations of 20th century American lifestyles. You have probably observed that when people drink too much coffee, they're often hyperactive. They may be jittery, nervous, and complain about being unable to relax. On the other hand, when people drink beer, their speech often slurs, they may lose control of their muscular coordination, and their reactions may slow down. Too much beer may even cause them to pass out. Hypothesis. The next step in the scientific method is to make an educated guess, more formally called a hypothesis, based on your observations. A possible hypothesis could be that alcohol present in beer can cause a decrease in reaction time, while the caffeine in coffee causes a speeding up of reactions. Take a moment and write your hypothesis about the effect of alcohol and caffeine on the heart rate of Daphnia. Designing an experiment or testing. Since it is neither wise nor ethical to experiment on humans, we'll instead use a living water flea called Daphnia magna to test your hypothesis. The advantage of studying Daphnia is that it's almost transparent. You can see the heart beating, the squeezing action of the intestine, muscular movement, and occasional eggs in the brood pouch. Also, because Dabnia is a small aquatic organism, it makes an excellent subject for studying the effects of drugs on circulation. Collecting data. During this lab, you will occasionally have an experiment that doesn't work. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have disproved the hypothesis. It does mean that the experiment must be repeated so that variations in technique or in an individual organism response are put in perspective. For example, having used a different dapnea for the control procedure, how can you be sure that its reaction compares adequately to experimental procedure? The answer is to repeat the experiment many times. Instead of you repeating it, collect your class data. Then individual results can be compared to a larger sample. Analysis of data. Results from experiment must be presented in a clear scientific way. If tables and graphs are well constructed, they provide a concise summary and allow the reader to see at a glance the pertinent result of the experiment. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words, unless, of course, the picture is messy, unclear, or inaccurate. Interpretation and conclusion. One of the most important features of scientific inquiry is the exchange of information. Scientists publish experimental results to make them know to others and include their interpretation on what those results mean. Write a brief discussion of this experiment being careful not to let your preconceived notion interfere with an objective analysis. 
lists several questions the experiment raised and the procedures that could be used to test them. Daphnia has been placed in a slide under the lowest magnification for X or scanning power of the microscope. Observe the daphnia. The most obvious structure is the eye. The brain is a light color organ lying above the eye. Two pairs of antenna protrude from the head. These are used for locomotion and to sense the environment. Inside the exoskeleton are five pairs of legs. Come like gills are attached to some of the legs. When the legs kick forward, they bring a stream of water across the gills and wash bits of food into the mouth, which lie just beneath the beak. From the mouth, the esophagus runs up into the head and then down into the body, where it widens into the stomach, which connect to the intestine. The heart lies in the upper part of the daphnia. In females, a large brood chamber is located behind the heart. Usually, it will contain eggs. Label the drawing below, including as many of the italized structures as you can find. Also, write down any pertinent observations you have. Count the number of heartbeats for 15 seconds. The rate in a healthy dania will be very rapid, 2 to 5 beats per second. Record your data on the worksheet at the end of this lab and calculate the number of beats per minute. The simplest way to do this is to multiply by 4. Then remove the water by placing an edge of tissue to the slide. Place one drop of 2% alcohol on the daphnia. Wait one minute and then again count the heartbeats. Using the same procedure, monitor the effects of 4% alcohol solution. And 6% alcohol solution. record your results. At the end of the series of tests, try the second series, substituting caffeine, 1%, caffeine, Three percent caffeine, recall your results. Even if you perform all your experiments very carefully, you cannot be certain that the effects you see is due to the drugs. Perhaps that change in heartbeat is caused by the heat of the microscope light, or perhaps is affected by the removal or addition of solutions. Without the control experiment, your data are meaningless. Control procedure. The control procedure must be performed exactly as the experimental procedure. The only difference is that the variables are omitted. In this case, that means that alcohol and caffeine are not added. Using the same time interval and following the same procedure, substitute one drop of water for another. Record the heart rate 
on the worksheet. Write a brief discussion of this experiment. Interpret your results. Did your results agree with your hypothesis? Did the class results agree with your results? I hope this presentation was insightful. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy learning about STEAM. Please also share this channel with someone you think can benefit from or will enjoy the presentation of the iSteam channel. Hope to see you soon! Thank you.